getting our things for our lasagna that we're gonna make today. So now we gotta grab, I have already a uh, thing of sauce, but I have to get one more. So, and I already have traditional, so we'll see. All right, guys, we had to cut the video a little short at Walmart because I was going to show y'all everything that I picked up, but we had to come back home quickly. So we're here now, and these are all of my ingredients. So let's get right into this video. Welcome back to my channel. Baby, it's so delicious. So today, as you can see, we're going to be making lasagna so this is my first time making lasagna so this is going to be very fun for me because i love making stuff for the first time so let's get right into this video we're going to start by cooking our meat all right y'all scratch that we're going to start with our um lasagna noodles so I'm just going to dump some of them in here well let's go ahead and put our oil in so nothing sticks Alright, we'll give that a little whirl. Just like so. Our water is good and hot now, so everything is gonna be just perfect. So we're gonna go in with our noodles. And don't worry about them sticking out of your pan. They're supposed to do that. They'll fall once they start to cook. And the thing about lasagna is we're not going to cook the noodles all the way through. We're going to leave um, the noodles to about halfway cooked and then they'll cook the rest in the oven. I don't think I'll need more than one box, but I did cook. I did buy more than one just in case, but I think one will do the trick. So just going to use that full box. And we'll just let the water um, get hot enough to basically break down the noodles slowly but surely. All right, guys. So our noodles are halfway cooked. So I'm going to drain them and lay it out on our drain um, thing. And then we're going to start on our ricotta cheese mixture. And then we'll start with our meat. All right, guys. So I've laid out our um, lasagna noodles so now we're finna take our ricotta cheese i've already poured it into our bowl and our egg and we're just going to give that a little light mixture until everything um is completely combined just gotta make sure that our stuff is completely mixed up we got a smaller bowl this time guys so it's gonna i'm just trying not to make a mess so it's gonna go a little bit slow so we'll be back once everything is completely combined and stirred up and we'll move on to our meat all right guys so i did have to use a bigger bowl because that other bowl was giving me the business so Everything is fully combined at this point. And I'm just giving it another little whirl around. So yeah, we're done. Our egg is mixed in really well. So yeah, that's that. So now we're gonna start on our meat. But that's how the mixture looks. That's how the mixture looks. All right. All right guys, so our pan is warming up. We're gonna put our turkey in because we're doing turkey lasagna not using any ground beef or any pork sausage or anything like that we're just using all turkey and i think that'll be a good amount okay now we're just gonna go in and try to chop it up and the turkey was um 85 15 but it's up to you. You can use the 93.7 as well. But I use, I like a little bit more fat in my turkey just for the added flavor. So we'll get this cooked and then you'll see me add the other ingredients once this gets to really cooking and browning. All right guys, so our meat is done. So now we're gonna start adding our dry ingredients. 
So first we're gonna add our white pepper and you can use black pepper if you want to, it's completely up to you. But I'm gonna use white and black because I do want a little bit of crushed um, pepper in. So we'll just grate that in there as much as we can. All right. And then we'll add our Italian seasoning. We just shake that in there, making sure everything is good and seasoned. Because we want flavor. And then we're going to add a little cayenne. We definitely have to have the cayenne. And then we'll do the adobo seasoning. And this is just for a little bit of added um, flavor within your um, lasagna. Then next is our paprika. Want to get that in there really good. And then we'll do some oregano. Got to get your oregano in there. Making sure that's good and in there. And then we'll do some garlic powder. Babe, can you hand me um, a spoon, please? Okay. And then we have our onion salt. We'll just shake that in there. All right. And then we do have our crushed red pepper, but we're not going to use too, too, too much. Just enough. And then we'll put about two spoons of our minced garlic in. So our minced garlic, and I'm using the one in water, not vinegar. And I didn't do a whole spoon that time, so we'll do that full spoon. And then we'll just give it a good, 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 good mix. It's getting a little steamy for y'all. Let me back y'all up a little bit. Okay. All right. So, yeah, we got our seasoning in. Making sure everything is good and seasoned. Because we want flavor. We don't want a bland lasagna that's not giving enough. We definitely want our meat well seasoned. So, we're going to go in with a little bit more adobo seasoning and a little bit more of oregano because it just wasn't doing enough for me so just going to add a little bit more of some of our ingredients and you can always season to your own liking to your own taste it's not about anybody else um unless you're cooking for other people then you take their thoughts and consideration you know into play because some people don't like spice some people do some people don't, you know, like different things. So you kind of just adjust. But when you're cooking for yourself, you know, or for your, you know, intermediate family, you can kind of freestyle and do how you want to do. All right, guys. So now we're going to go in with our sauce. I'm ready. Okay. So we're going to be using half of this sauce by Classico. And this is just the traditional sauce, and then we'll be using half of the traditional sweet basil sauce. So we're going with this first. All right. And then we'll give that a little mix. And once we get it mixed, we're going to want our sauce to come to a simmer. So we're going to turn our slow down just a little bit it was on six we're going to put it on five just to slow down the cooking process we're going to go ahead and add the rest of this actually go ahead and add that on in give that a good 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 mix and everything starting to look great guys so now we're going to go in with this and i like mine to be very saucy so i'm gonna just use it all bump it all right yes y'all y'all see that it's so saucy it looks so good okay so yes we're going to go ahead and just let this simmer for a while and then we'll be back 
All right, guys, so we're done with our sauce. So we're going to add our first layer in, and this is going to be our first layer of the lasagna. And this is just going to act as the non-stick like mechanism like uh oil would but instead of doing oil we'll just put our sauce down first we want to do a moderate layer of that so that's fine right there so now we're going to take our noodles that was sitting to the side now our noodles are a little bit bigger than our pan so we're just going to take that and just Peel some of the noodle off and that's perfectly fine that happens so don't worry everything is still going to turn out just fine so we just peel it off make everything one we'll just peel this one before hand put that there then any spaces or anything that needs to be filled in you can just fill that in okay so now we'll go in with just a light coat of meat on this layer just a lighter coat because we'll put a thicker coat on the top and then we're just going to repeat the process after our get the first couple of layers down it just becomes a repeated process to be fairly honest now we want to take our smoked provolone cheese and just layer it in just like so just like so because we definitely want that good cheese layer i am a cheese girl y'all I am very much so a cheese girl, so we have to have our cheese. It is in very important to have our cheese. Okay? So now we'll add another layer of our noodles. And this will just cause our noodles and cheese to stick together and work together while they're inside of the pan. So, just like so, just put it in there and layer everything down, maybe. And we are moving, guys. This is very quick. Doesn't take long at all to make. So, it's a quick meal you can make for your kids um, before they get home from school. And you'll have something quickly made. It doesn't take long at all. So now we're going to go in um, with our ricotta cheese and let me grab a spoon so I can layer everything um, inside. Okay, so now we'll go in with our ricotta cheese and we'll just give it a, you know, a nice layer. You can add it however thick or thin you would like. It's totally up to you. But we're going to add us a nice, you know, layer of it and make sure everything comes together at a good liking. Okay. All right. So we're just going to add a little bit more at the bottom on each side. To make sure we have just an even layer of everything because I'm all about it being even. I want everything to be, you know, kind of evened out together. Get a little bit more to cover those sides. Okay. All right. All right. So I think that's a great layer right there not too thick not too thin just enough all right so now we're just gonna go in with a little bit of our mozzarella cheese finely shredded so we'll just put that 
over. You kind of spread it out because you don't want it to be too, too, too thick. But you want a, just a nice layer to kind of, you know, melt and then get incorporated into that ricotta cheese. Yeah, this is so quick and so easy. It doesn't take long at all. So if you're wanting to cook your own homemade lasagna, I say go for it. Give it a try. All right. Now we're going to go in with some more noodles. Okay. All right. So we're getting it, guys. We're getting everything done pretty quickly. And, you know, I'm having fun with this. This is very fun. It's very different from spaghetti, even though they're kind of the same. They are very different. And how you, you know, prepare them and make it, it's definitely fun to do. So, I'm going to add a kind of a thicker coating of meat to this layer because this is probably going to be our last um, layer right here of everything and then we'll top it with our grated, our freshly grated um, extra sharp cheddar cheese and we'll put that on there as well mixed in with some mozzarella as well so yeah y'all I'm not doing too much just something quick and easy and simple for everybody to do. If you don't want to eat the store bought version like Stouffer's or anything, you want to kind of, you know, learn how to make it yourself. I definitely, you know, recommend, you know, just trying something different, trying something new and just seeing what happens. Okay. So, I want to be kind of frisky, y'all. And put one more layer. Let's see if we can go one more layer. Even if we spill out a little bit, that's totally fine. It's okay. We'll live. So, yeah. We ended up using all of the provolone cheese. Because I wanted to go in with another light layer of everything. And then we'll go in with just a thin layer of sauce on the top. We'll kind of spread these out a little bit more than we did the ones on the bottom. I just wanted more layers and multiple layers. But it's up to you. If you want to do more layers or less layers, it's completely up to you. It's your dish. So you do whatever you feel is necessary. But I want to a little crazy today so we're just going to add just a little bit of a light layer this is not going to be thick at all so i'm going to do this and we already have our oven preheated to 365 and since our layers are thick we're going to go in um the oven for about 40 minutes um with it covered and then we'll do 10 minutes uncovered and then after that we will let it rest after we take it out of the oven for about 15 minutes and then we'll be ready to eat guys and we'll be ready to get it going all right y'all so this was our last layer so now we're going to add our cheese y'all can't wait to taste this I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't wait to taste it. Hope it's very good. And then I'll never be going and buying store-bought lasagna anymore. I will be just making it myself. Because it's not as hard as I thought, you know, when I first, you know, wanted to start at cooking um, lasagna. I thought it was just so hard because of all the different layers and stuff. But... It's not that hard. You just got to get your sauce done. Do that however you want to do that. And then, you know, do all the extra stuff that's necessary to get your lasagna the way you want it. And 
put it in the oven and boom bam it's done I am a cheese girl, so I'm, I'm gonna try to use all of this grated cheese. I think it's about a little bit less than a half of like block of cheese. And then we're just going with a sprinkle of our mozzarella, finely shredded on top. Oh yeah, y'all, this is gonna be the one right here, baby. Yes, 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 yes. I'm so ready to eat this. I hope it is just amazing. Okay, so now we're gonna go in for a little garnish with our parsley for a little garnish on top. Yeah, y'all, we're doing it big. All right, so it's gonna go in the oven covered but this is how everything looks before. So once we bring it out of the oven, y'all will get our first scoop and then we'll be done. All right, guys, so we are done with our lasagna. We have let it rest for 15 minutes. Now it's time to dig on in. So we're just gonna Go in, make sure everything is nice and, you know, so we can have an easy pickup. Okay. Put our plate here. All right, y'all. Let's see if I can get it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. We might have to just pick it up from the side. All right, y'all see that? Doesn't that look so good, y'all? Ooh. All right. So we had a nice, easy pull. And yeah, y'all, that is our lasagna. We are about to dig in, y'all. And we are done. So we'll see y'all the next time. Well, you can do what you wanna live, how you wanna spin what you wanna.